an international team of astronomers just found that a presumed supernova is actually something much rarer. Astronomers led by Anna Payne of the University of Hawaii at Manoa just discovered that a presumed supernova is actually periodic flaring from a black hole in a distant galaxy. An active galactic nucleus, AGN, in the center of ESO 253-G003 erupts approximately every 114 days. The black hole gives off bursts of energy as it tears off chunks of an orbiting star. An active galactic nucleus is a compact region at the center of a galaxy. It is basically the core of a galaxy, typically highly variable and very bright compared to the rest of the galaxy. This central region radiates huge luminosity over the electromagnetic spectrum. The radiation from an AGN is likely caused by mass dragged in by the gravitational pull of a supermassive black hole at the center of the host galaxy. However, the active galaxy lies over 570 million light years away in the southern constellation of Pictor. Scientists first discovered the phenomenon called Assassin-14KO on November 14, 2014, using the All-Sky Automated Survey for Supernovae, Assassin. Assassin is a global network of 20 robotic telescopes headquartered at the Ohio State University, OSU, in Columbus. Such active galaxies have unusually bright and variable centers. These bodies produce much more energy than the combined contribution of all their stars. This might be due to gravitational and frictional forces heating a swirling disk of gas and dust that accumulates around the central supermassive black hole. As the matter slowly falls into the black hole, it creates random changes in the light emitted by the disk. Looking at the ESO 253-3 light curve, or the graph of its brightness over time, Payne and colleagues noticed a series of 17 flares, all separated by about 114 days. Each flare reaches its peak brightness in about five days, then steadily dims. Based on this discovery, the researchers suggested that the galaxy would experience another burst on May 17th of last year. Thus, they coordinated ground and space-based facilities to make observations. They have since successfully predicted and witnessed flares on September 7th and December 26th. They also used data from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, to create a precise timeline of a flare that began on November 7th, 2018, tracking its emergence, rise to peak brightness, and decline in great detail. Using measurements from Assassin, TESS, SWIFT, and other observatories, including NASA's New Star and ESA's XMM Newton observatories, the researchers came up with three possible explanations for the repeating flares. One less likely possibility included interactions between the disks of two orbiting supermassive black holes at the center of ESO 253-G003. Based on recent measurements, the galaxy does indeed host two such objects, but they don't orbit close enough to produce this frequency of flares. The other scenario involved a star passing on an inclined orbit through a black hole's disk. In that case, they would expect to see asymmetrically shaped flares caused when the star disturbs the disk twice, on either side of the black hole. But the flares from this galaxy all have the same shape. And lastly, the most likely scenario is what astronomers call a partial tidal disruption event, or TDE. TDEs occur when an orbiting star gets too close to a supermassive black hole, which sheds its mass but doesn't destroy it. Instead, 
Every approach strips away an amount of gas equal to about three times the mass of Jupiter. The flares occur when the lost material falls into the black hole. Scientists revealed their findings based on 20 instances of regular outbursts in a paper published in the Astrophysical Journal. You can find a link to that paper in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank mm -hmm. you.